Camera, our fellow free animation feature presentation. Fun fact of the day. Did you know that federally, Kitty Hawk is part of North Carolina's 3rd Congressional District, represented by Republican Gray Murphy since 2019? And, and speaking, speaking of Kitty Hawk, we, we have, have a field trip coordinator, coordinator lunch, lunch lady, lady, and, and a school bus assistant, assistant for one of the special needs buses, buses that have had at our school. Her name is Mrs. Kitty Hawk, and she, she is part of our Tesla staff on my this week. week. Also, Mr. Mr. Dot, one of the teachers here at Tesla, has graduated from Kitty Hawk University in Stepford. Can you imagine several students applying to Kitty Hawk University with a $3 million scholarship and staff graduating from Kitty Hawk University? Kitty Hawk? Never been there. Hello Kitty Hawkers, how's this sound? The Sci-Fi Club will meet Wednesday at 4.45. This week's topic... Wedding failures. Sounds fantastic. Hey. Here they come. Hey Darren and Marissa, can you two announce our sci-fi club meeting tomorrow? Yay. Nope. But it's a club and... Diamond Leaf and I decide what's worth announcing. And stupid crap like that ain't completely it. Jealousy against club announcing refusal is against my reign. Take this. Huh. Oh woo 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 Trip you are, riff. Due to my old studio being defunct, me and my friends are all wearing that pants Peron does wishes. I don't care about lead pants, Darren. You have no right to wear them. Someone should put you and Diamond Leaf in your places. Are you sure this will work, Maxine? Gershwin. This strategy always works. We'd like to congratulate Mrs. Rhonda Raven, our special needs bus driver, safety drill coordinator, and cafeteria lady for specifying the following people with lead pants after January 31st. Darren Nichols, Sabrina Carpenter, Asher Angel, Christina Grammy, Tom Reese, Ben Reese, Hank Reese, Angela Reese, Boldy Reese, Grandma Reese, Dharma Reese, Rebecca Hale, Claire Bladoring, Alexandria Wayfield, Marissa Hawkins, and Karsten Ramden. Just a reminder, when someone, such as Mrs. Raven, gives you lead pants, iron pants, or steel line pants, you will not feel a thing when you get crotch kicked, just like Sam, one of our security officers in the building, and Scotty, a guidance counselor for the freshmen. Marissa, will you do all ten of us a favor and announce our CFE club meeting? I told you, nope. What part of that don't you understand? But don't the students have a right to hear about? Nope. You heard him. Those crazy people hear what they wish to hear. Darren and I decide what gets announced, such as a celebrity death, and those idiots out there do what we tell them. Holy is. Darren and Marissa, for God's sake, the public address system is still active. <gasps> hey everybody, it worked. People always forget the intercom is still active. I sometimes forget the stove is on, but it sets off the alarms at my apartment, forcing everybody outside. Darren and Marissa, both of you lost your announcing privileges. Sheesh. Shush the sheesh. Ella Mecki, Gershing Parks, Maxine Valdez, Riff Richards, Theo Wager, DM Ryan, Adana Hall, Brennan Tilgman, Kitty Williams, and Skip Linden, all of you will take turns being the new announcers. Before the running of the 1961 Italian Grand Prix, four drivers were mathematically in contention for the year's Drivers' Championship, Wolfgang von Trips, Phil Hill, Sterling Moss, and Richie Ginther. Realistically, however, the championship had come down to two Ferrari drivers, von Trips and Hill. In the Constructors' Championship, two teams were mathematically in contention, Ferrari, and Lotus Climax. In order for Lotus to overtake Ferrari at this point, one of their drivers had to win both this race and the final race of the season, the 1961 United States Grand Prix. Fun fact about the 1961 Italian Grand Prix. Did you know that 37 cars attempted to qualify for the Italian Grand Prix, and 32 had sufficiently fast times to make it to the race grid? Similar to the 107% rule of today, a rule was in place for the 1961 season enforcing a 115% cutoff against the time of the second fastest driver. This concludes the announcements. I am Ellen McCoy. I am Jershwin Parks.
I am Maxine Valdez. I am Riff Richards. And I am Theo Wager, and we are signing off for today. Thank you guys, and just a reminder that in honor of Super Bowl 56, we will hold Spirit Week next week. Monday, Project Runway, Tuesday, Dancing with the Stars, Wednesday, Kings and Queens, Thursday, Strike It Up, and Friday, School Killers. Yes, a pep rally will be held that day, so be excited. A tailgate party will be held at the stadium and in the student parking lot, so come on down on Wednesday, February 9th. Happy birthday to Data Candy Tauka, Mrs. Blair Glover, and Mr. Alan Roden. That is all of the announcements for today, so everyone have a tremendous Thursday. Well done Theo and Riff, you guys gave information about the 1961 Italian Grand Prix. I call that race history. We'll talk about that during lunch and to see on Wikipedia on who won the race. Here are the details of the race, and what I say, goes. The date of the race is September 10, 1961. The official name is XXXII Gran Premio d'Italia d'Italia. The race location is Autodromo Nazionale di Monza in Monza, Italy. The course is a permanent racing facility. The course length is 10,000 kilometers or 6,214 miles. The distance is 43 laps, which is 430,000 kilometers or 267,190 miles. The weather is sunny. Pole position, driver is Wolfgang von Trips from Germany in a Ferrari with a fastest time of 2 minutes and 46.3 seconds. Fastest lap, driver is Giancarlo Baghetti from Italy in a Ferrari with a fastest time of 2 minutes and 48.4 seconds in lap 2. And finally, in the podium, in third place, Bruce McLaren from the United Kingdom in a Cooper Climax. In second place, Dan Gurney from the United States in a Porsche. And in first place, Phil Hill from the United States in a Ferrari. Maggie, Pupert, and Reina, all of you think that I just love the idea of sharing facts about the 1961 Italian Grand Prix with you guys. Wow, 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 wow! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.